Hello YouTube, it's that Game Tamer here and today I'm doing a tutorial on the Superman script mod by Julio Nib. So first what you want to do is download the files needed. If you look down below and check the description, you should see all the download links so don't forget to check out the description. Okay, what you'll be needing is the script mod, the Superman script mod, uh, the Superman Man of Steel 1.0, Lua plugin, scripthookv.net, scripthookv, and OpenIV. Let me show you guys how to install OpenIV. So open up the setup, press continue, read the terms, accept, continue, run OpenIV after installation, continue, then press yes, but I already have it, so I'm going to press no. Okay, now open up OpenIV. Once you open up OpenIV, what you want to do is go to Tools, ASI Manager. Make sure you install all these um, downloads here. So ASI Loader, OpenIV.ASI, Open Camera. And once they're installed, they're going to be green. Okay, so now let's open up our main directory. We're going to create a mods folder. So file, new folder, name it mods. Inside this mods folder, we're going to create a new folder named update. Inside this update folder, we're going to create a new folder named x64. Okay, now let's go back to our main directory, update, x64, copy DLC packs, then go back to our mods folder, mods, update, x64, paste DLC packs. Okay, let's go back to our main directory, update, copy update.rpf. Now let's go back to our mods folder update paste update.rpf okay once everything's done pasting in your mods folder you should have an update folder inside update you should have an x64 folder and update.rpf inside x64 folder you should have dlc packs now go back to your main directory scroll down all the way to the bottom look for x64 e copy then go back to your mods folder and paste Okay, now once x64e is done pasting, just go back to your main directory. Um, now let's install Lua plugin. So select all the files in this folder, drag them into your main directory. Alright, we have successfully installed Lua plugin. Next, we have scripthookv. Click the bin folder, select input A in scripthookv.dll, drag them into your main directory. Okay, successfully installed scripthookv. Next, we have scripthookv.net. So here, just look for scripthookv.net.asi, drag it into your main directory. Okay, next we have nibs mods. So let's go to our scripts folder. And then just drag nibsmods.net.dll. Okay, now what we're going to do is install the Superman GTA V, which is basically the Superman script. All you have to do is drag this to your desktop. I already have it on my desktop, and all I'm going to do is right-click Open With. And then if you don't see Open IV there, click More Apps, then scroll down, look for another app on this PC. Then go to your desktop, scroll down and click open iv okay now click install and select game folder all right installation succeeded press close now click the suit config file samples select all of them drag them into your scripts folder okay we have successfully installed the superman script next we have the superman suit so what you want to do is open up open iv Okay, now click edit mode, press yes, then go to mods, x64e, models, cd images, component peds underscore a underscore c dot rpf, then select all these files, drag them in here. Okay, we have successfully installed the Superman mod and script. So now all that's left to do is open up GTA and give it a try. Okay, once you open up GTA, what you want to do is press Ctrl N and you should see Nibs mod menu pop up. Um, to navigate, use your numpad key 2 to go down, A to go up, 5 is enter. Okay, um, let's go to 
Wait, let me open it up again. Let's go to Superman. Press 5. And then what you want to do is scroll down toggle powers Superman by Quetches 13. And toggle it and you should see Superman. And also you should have his powers. So you should have super speed. Which you just press shift. T to grab the person. Really don't need this. And then you just can throw him like that which is cool. You can also freeze time or slow down time by pressing or aiming. And then we also have um, night vision. I think yeah. And you have heat vision. So you can change your attack modes uh, by pressing E. So who's shooting at me right now? Okay, and then just click your mouse. So press E. And then click your mouse. Whoa, I froze her. And then that's so awesome. You can break them. They freeze and break. Okay. So now you can press Q and then you just smash into the ground like that. All right. So there's way more stuff you can do, but I'll leave everything in the description and you guys can check the mod out. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching.